So this is an off the wall video. I'm recording this at like what? 12 a.m. And it's because I came across shit that was related to the pink sauce again. Yeah, I know. I can't stop talking about it. One, because I, I, hey, I'm not going to lie. It gets views. So why not? But on the other hand, this is fucking stupid. Straight up. This is dumb as hell. As you probably saw the title of this video. Yes. Someone donated 24 fucking thousand dollars to the pink sauce GoFundMe. And I cannot understand why. Anyways, you might saw my last video that talked about the pink sauce situation. But what happened was the pink sauce creator, Chef P, she allegedly claimed that she was going bankrupt and that she had no more money and that she was now borrowing $20 from her mother every single day or every single week is what people are saying. You know, let me just check the GoFundMe itself. Yeah, it says it right here. My mom is on disability and has been giving us $20 just to get us by on a daily basis. Now, there is a big uh, controversy going on with that statement on its own. I already told you in the last video that Chef P is a known liar. She has lied time and time and time again. It shouldn't be brand new to anybody that has been keeping up with this series since the beginning. But here's the thing that people have uncovered. She said that her mother was giving her $20 uh, to survive, I guess, daily. But she said in the past, in a previous TikTok, her mother was dead. Look at this. Right, y'all? Today is an extremely special day uh these are actually happy tears it's my mom's birthday she would have been 51 this is my mom if y'all don't know my mom did die when i was a month old and today is also the one year anniversary of the pink sauce <laughs> So what is it, Chef Pete? Did your mom pass away when you were one? Is it, uh, is she still alive? What's going on with this story? Something isn't adding up. How are you going to sit there and say now in your new GoFundMe that your mother is now giving you $20, I guess, daily to survive, but in a TikTok that you posted on the anniversary of the pink sauce, the one year celebration, you were saying, you know what? I wish my mother was still here. You know, she would have been uh, was 51 years old. Well, in your GoFundMe, you sound like she's still alive. What's, what's going on here? There's even more inconsistencies. And then to add on top of that, I know most people don't really read comments that I post if I'm updating a story, but I was reached out to by Dave's Gourmet and they did inform me that they reached out to Insider and they provided actual evidence to show that Chef P has been paid and that all the agreements that were set in place for the payments that she was supposed to get. So Dave's Gourmet did uphold their end of the bargain and they were paying Chef P. And so it makes you wonder what's really going on here. On top of that, there's a fucking moron, if this is to be true from the name that said the donator that donated money to Chef P, but it was apparently Kyrie Irvin. Yeah, look at this, ladies and gentlemen, Kyrie Irvin, $24,240. I do not know in what goddamn forsaken universe that anyone would ever want to donate to this. She's a scammer at this point, right? She's just fishing money out of people. She sold a bad product. She's gaslit people. She is lying to people. Her story's not adding up. This is all just, this shouldn't even be up here. This GoFundMe shouldn't even be allowed at this point. And everything up to this point has shown that her story doesn't seem very solid or concrete and that there's a lot of holes in there and nothing makes sense. Also, everyone who's been donating in here that I see uh, $6 single mom with seven kids, what else is in that sauce come? Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Please hide under a rock and go away. I'll be reporting this donation to get it revoked. I mean, hey, good good on y'all if y'all want to get y'all's donation revoked and y'all are going to do shit like this, but you shouldn't even get money to begin with. I get it. People want to donate money to sit there and kind of prove a point and sit there and talk shit to her, but I think you're just wasting your money straight up. She ain't going to read that shit. Even if you do post all this shit, does it matter? No, because at the end of the day, she's still going to get the money, assuming that all this does go through and this GoFundMe doesn't get pulled at the end of the day. Anyways, I just wanted to make a quick little update about this. I was sitting there just browsing the internet and shit like that and this was brought to my attention and i could not believe this at all i was actually flabbergasted i was appalled at the fact that someone would even donate twenty four thousand dollars to begin with and who knows it might not even be Kyrie, but at the end of the day someone still donated twenty four fucking thousand dollars to someone who does not deserve that money at all you'd be better off just buying food with that for yourself donating to the charity donate to people who could actually make real use of that money that actually need it instead of donating that money to someone like chef p it's just like i said in my logan paul video is wild that people can just be straight pieces of shit they could be known scammers they could be the worst people known to mankind but you'll still have people support them you'll still have people give them money you'll still have people just do all this shit even though there's so much fucking evidence out there that shows that you shouldn't be doing anything to support this person or give them your money or anything at, the, at that point but people still do it anyway and you know honestly i just can't comprehend it at all anyways you made this far into the video consider giving a like subscribe to the channel leave me a comment below what you think have a great day yeah